Hey gang, it's Wednesday. New coordination challenge. This one's fun. I think I like the format of what I'm gonna recommend. One second. Got the beats going on in the background. Uh, the format that I wanna recommend on approaching this and maybe some of the rest of the coordination challenges is set a 15 minute block and just fill it with trying to pick this movement apart or this uh, coordination challenge apart to the, the fullest extent that you can. Spend the whole 15 minutes, try and refine it uh, to get as many of the features and qualities to line up as you can, or like I said, take it as far as you can. Maybe you don't fully get it this 15 minutes. But going back and forth, maybe between videoing yourself doing this and then reviewing it, which is very uh, humbling uh, you know, in and of itself to watch how goofy you look. I'm about to show you, uh, you know, how far I got in 15 minutes. But you know, it was a really nice way to, to move around, to challenge the brain, definitely to challenge your body and uh, to grow in some, some way that uh, you know, was not too bad for 15 minutes of invested uh, time. So check this out. This is our uh, coordination task for the week. It's similar to last week in that it doesn't have any kind of cross body alterations going on. It's one just like symmetrical pattern the entire time. And I think it's pretty doable uh, within 15 minutes. But um, as before, I'd say pay attention to the feet, pay attention to the arms, see if you can pick apart individual patterns first, and then over time start to layer it all together. Uh, it's really difficult to just jump in and do the full thing all at once. So try and pick it apart as best you can and chunk it into little pieces, and then see where you get. So here's where I got in 15 minutes. As per usual, the goal is to be able to go unbroken for a minute. I won't put the full minute on here now, but I was able to achieve it earlier. And uh, yeah, let's see what you got. Send me some progress if you have it. <laughs> 